Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. I'm not feeling too well this morning. I think I, I don't think it's uh, part of my flair. I think I ate too much. Uh, I ate that pizza. Then we had the uh, pumpkin pie, and I had some kind of that party mix uh, stuff, and. I ate some those peanut butter cups and they just didn't go together. I've been up early this morning feeling sick. Surely it'll go away after a while. On our prayer request, Gar Bear has an unspoken request. Lady Huntington has skin cancer, goes to see a plastic surgeon uh, tomorrow about removing it. Dolly's daughter, Candy, needs prayers not to lose faith and keep strong. Valerie needs prayer. She is battling cancer. Kathy's favorite things needs prayer for her and her family. Hi, honey. Hi. You can't be right in front of the camera. Come here. Here. Let me do that. You can lay down, okay? Sarah made it through her surgery okay. They should have the results next week. And Chris, her channel was shut down on YouTube because she it was hacked. Uh, and she's very upset. And that's understandable. You get really attached to <coughs> all your friends and doing things and stuff. Um, our Bible reading today comes from Luke 8, 40 through 48. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were all expecting him. Then a man named Jairus, a synagogue leader, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house because his only daughter, a girl of about 12, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. But no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me, Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, I need like to lay over here. Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. You want to go see Mommy? But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. When the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet, in the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Our devotion today is entitled, Never Give Up Hope. When my friend received a diagnosis of cancer, the doctor advised her to get her affairs in order. She called me sobbing, worried about her husband and young children. I shared her urgent prayer request with our mutual friends. We rejoiced when a second doctor encouraged her to never give up hope and confirmed his team would do all they could to help. Hi, honey. <clears throat> Though some days were harder than others, she focused on God instead of the odds stacked against her. She never gave up. My friend's persevering faith reminds me of the desperate women in Luke 8. Weary from 12 years of ongoing suffering, disappointment, and isolation, she approached Jesus from behind and stretched her hand towards the hem of his robe. Her immediately healing fo followed her act of faith, persistently hoping, believing Jesus was able to do what others couldn't. No matter how impossible her situation seemed, we may experience pain that feels endless, situations that appear hopeless, or waiting that seems unbearable. We may endure moments when the odds against us are stacked high and wide. We may not experience the healing we long for as we continue trusting Christ. But even then, Jesus invites us to keep reaching for Him, to trust Him, and never give up hope, and to believe He is always able always trustworthy, and always within reach. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we all want to be trusting in you, and we all want you to be within our reach, Lord. 
And please help everybody on the prayer list today. Help them with all their different problems and all the battles that they're facing, Lord. Help anybody else out that needs it. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, I'm going to wait till I feel a little bit better or see if I feel better if I do a morning coffee break. If, if I don't have one, you'll know I, I'm not feeling too well. Okay, everybody. I'll see you later. Have a good day.